some things that have held us back or fallen down to the sides. But you know, like Pastor was saying, that, that we stand on that platform and we look down them steps and we say, you know, I, I think I don't know about you, but I'm tired of going back down them steps. Amen? Amen. I'm tired of walking back down them steps. <laughs> you know? It ain't about me getting old, but it's, it's just walking back down them steps. Just like Peter said, Peter spent all that time, and I want you to be encouraged because what, 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 what my wife was saying, that um, but Peter was with Jesus all that time. He saw the miracles. He saw the amazing thing that God was, that God was doing through Jesus, and, and Jesus was teaching him the whole way. And but all of a sudden, they wanted to go back to fishing again. They want to go back and do the old things that they used to do, you know? And, and sometimes it even gets religious, that some people get back and they want to go back to doing their, the religious things that they want to do. And they never move forward, they never will fish in there and catch that net and catch more, more fish, because it's about catching more people, it's about catching them and bringing them out. And it's the thing that we're going to continually press through. So. As we come to as we come to that, maybe there's one, maybe you um, for a moment that you want to just bow our heads and you know I want you to just think about some of the things that 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 try to make you go back down the steps or try to go down on the landing and you've been back through that over and over. You've been up the steps. You've been back down the steps, up the steps and back down the steps. It wouldn't it be exciting to go through the door. It would be exciting to go through the door just to see what God has a, has new for us. Yes. It's not just that he had restored for us, but what he got new for us. Yes. What exciting um, expectations that he's going to be going to do in us mm -hmm. as we as we press forward. Yes. So Father, we just want to thank you, Lord God. Lord God, that even to the point when we go back down them steps, that the door is still there waiting on us. The store is still there. And that how many times we may have backed down that down them steps, must over a dozen times, but that with door is standing like a shining light. And we walk back up it again and we say, really, Lord? Really? Me? Is it for me? And God said, that's why the door stands before each and every one of you. It isn't that any for the next person or for somebody else, but God has it for you and he has it for me. So Father God, we just ask you, Lord God, that Lord God, that you would help us push through them doors, Father God. Push the door open. And whatever, Lord God, you have for us, whatever exciting thing that you would be a breakthrough for us, that, Father God, we will, like I, I told this woman one time, you have to let the past be the past. The devil will always bring the past up. But, Father God, we know, God, that you have a future for us. And Father God, you were saying in your word that, that you are the Prince of Peace and that you do have peace for us. So Father God, we pray for each and every one that they have a peace of God that surpasses all understanding, Father God. And Lord God, when we go through them doors, that Father God, first of all, search our hearts and our minds, search our spirit, Father God that we may be one with you. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that we will not let them steps or that platform hold us back, Father God. And we bless your name, Father God. Now we ask you, Father God, that you would go with us, Father God, that you would stand by us. Lord, because we love you, Lord God, but we know, Father God, you loved us first. We thank you for this day in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.